WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Dow. Dow up 136, NASDAQ up 59, S&P's up 10.5. And, and watch these machines run this market, folks. Bottom line, if we get over and we take a look at the uh, uh, S&P's, what you're going to see is that as we just came into the close out here, you know, you get holiday trading happening. Uh, no doubt it's early, but the bottom line is we have holiday trading happening. And what you're going to see, uh, ESZ9, what you're going to see out here is that right, in, well, the, we were at highs all day, but the bottom line, the market had backed down just slightly. That being said, guess what? Uh, right into the close, they jammed this thing uh, from a price point of 3200 to 3206 That doesn't seem like a lot, but let me tell you something. That's a lot. They're going to close it at all-time highs. Notes and bonds. Notes and bonds now are a big issue out here today, and this is why. Note and bond market, folks, Tested the November 7th downdraft as well as the strength that was established last Friday. It rejected lower price. It had tremendously lighter volume. That is saying that notes and bonds, bottom line, still want higher price, lower yield. What we did out here is that we got to a price point today in the 10 year note of 127.29. That was the low of last Friday. Last Friday, we had 2.7 million contracts. That 2.7 million, folks, was testing the downdraft where, where we had some hard destruction also in the bond market on November 7th. It rejected it. Had light of volume, and this was in harmony, folks, with the 10-year, the 30-year, the TLT. That is saying, bottom line, they all want higher price, low yield. We get open, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here was up $5.00. You did 188,000 contracts, closed the, almost the high of the day. Gold contract, I suspect tomorrow, is going to make a run for this 1491. And what that's going to be all about is going to be about tonight, folks. It's going to be about in Japan tonight. It looks like it, we, what we had out here today is that the Bank of Japan uh, kept interest rates steady today. As that happened, what ended up happening is that the yen got stronger. The yen went from 109.68 to 109.18. And as the yen gets stronger, gold gets tremendously stronger. So I expect we're going to have some action inside that metals market tonight as the yen gets stronger. And, of course, the Nikkei is going to take conniptions because the yen's getting stronger. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come join our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. Tomorrow morning, outstanding show, 9 o'clock. Have a great one, folks.